the idea is that we can no longer move away from plastic. So it's a way to live with it. So there is something kind of sad in plastic. It's um, kind of trapped ancient sunlight that cannot decompose and kind of go back to the system. So there's something both like tragic, toxic and seductive and so bodily. So weirdly when the blobs come out, they kind of almost I feel like they try to go back to like an organic shape. The separation between like what's organic, what's synthetic, what's natural, what it, it does not longer exist, you know, in our era. So this is in a way a natural resource and a very good natural resource for me to uh, process because it also kind of cleans a little bit. Manipulating with heat. Is that black or is it deep purple? It's, uh, it's like a, this really cool fucking shiny iridescent shit that's mixed with purple that I didn't expect to be this black. I thought it was gonna be more uh, like purpley. Mika loves it. So a lot, of, a lot of the process too has been sort of a lot of experimentation, obviously, you know, about, you know, different materials and what it's gonna look like and, and kind of utilizing basically everything that we have, uh, have collected and throwing it in there somehow or making it look good or making it into something that is conducive to what the material actually is. Like we don't add color, we don't, so this is essentially the raw material. It's what I call my green ministry. This is how I serve, you know, this is my stewardship. What did you call it? My green ministry. So getting people to convert, you know, to care about the, their, them, their planet and, and what's going on, you know, environmentally. I'm just really happy that we've been able to find a, a place, be in a place that we can rescue these plastics and reuse these plastics and mitigate using new resources. And um, it's just, this is who I am. And, you know, I, I don't like waste at all. We don't really say recycling around here, it's reclamation. Recycling is kind of a dead word. It was kind of a scam uh, by petrochemical companies to, you know, absolve themselves of responsibility. Uh, so I utilize waste plastic that we, uh, as an organization and also individuals, collect. Uh, we sort it, and then we process it, and then we turn it back into art. And I think that waste is a design flaw. We don't want to use permanent materials in disposable applications. Like, my block is cleaner because we're doing this. Like, there is less plastic in the environment because we're doing this. And I think that's super important. So this idea of taking this substance that's shapeless and molding it into shapes, it's almost like the definition of what labor is, or giving meaning and shape to materials. Yeah, I love modular things and colors and shapes and textures. I'm interested in kind of creating a system rather than like a one-off like sculpture it's more about creating that like an idea of how something could be made as part of the shape of the piece so there's the physical shape and then there's kind of the conceptual shape yeah it's pretty bumpy it's almost like a pinch pot <laughs> which is really kind of against what plastic is supposed to be plastic is supposed to kind of have um, no personality of its own. It has a lot of personality because it's shiny and, and smooth, but it like assumes other shapes, you know, but that's why it's so kind of attractive to capitalism. It could be so many things, but it's the same thing. But making it look 
imperfect and kind of handmade. I think I've been obsessed uh, with plastic for a long time. I think it's always in my work. And I guess trying to embrace it rather than kind of be scared of it. 